Howdy folks, this is Shane. We have another behind the scenes video. People seem to get a kick out of it. Last time I did one, when it was in reference to putting up some of these blues posters, I wanted to mix up a couple of the posters and also remove a few as well. You might see that Muddy Waters Howling Wolf one over there. You might not be able to see it. It's basically that orange one right there next to the blue one. It's actually highly reflective because I actually had it laminated quite some time ago. There's a couple of other posters that are pretty bland, so I went and got some more printed up. If you're wondering where I get these done, I literally go to Google Images and then I take it to this place here in Australia called Officeworks and I get them printed up properly. So I've got this one right here. This is Willie Dixon. <laughs> I like this one. I think that just looks super cool, man. He looks super chilled. I think that's great. We have James Brown. James Brown's one of like my favorite musos of all time. I got to see him live before he died. And even at an older age, he was absolutely amazing. What a great show. We have a BB King one as well, mixed with Buddy Guy. I kind of like the patterns and colors on this one. I thought that looked pretty good. I don't know if I'll use all of these yet, but I like some of these a whole lot more than some of the ones that are on the wall. This one looks awesome. This is another Buddy Guy one as well. This is just regular paper. It's printed on. The printing quality is fantastic. We have a couple of, a couple of extra ones. Someone, I think it was North of 50 now, might have given me some suggestions for this, but I actually printed up one of my posters. <laughs> I thought, why not? This is the most recent one. I also have a couple of old ones. I'm not gonna use them all, but I printed them up just for kicks. I really like this old one of Rick and I as well. I think that looks pretty wild. So I definitely like some of these ones that I've had printed up. I don't know which ones I'm gonna replace just yet, except I know I'm gonna get rid of that Howlin' Wolf one, or at least maybe move it somewhere else. The other ones I'm not a huge fan of, looking at the wall, is that top right BB King one, the red one. It looks a little bit bland, to be honest. I, I think I'm gonna get rid of that. I definitely don't like the Keith Richards one that's down there, this weird sort of painting. I thought I liked it when I first saw it, but I definitely got over it pretty quickly. And I'm probably gonna get rid of the one on the top left as well. Dude's name totally escapes me, but I'm definitely gonna get rid of those. This John Mayer one, I actually really like it. It's laminated, but it doesn't seem to have that, you know, the reflectivity that uh, the one over here has. So. That might stay. I kind of like that one. It's just a, a good point of difference from most of these older musos that are on the wall. All right, that sort of sucks. I don't know what actually happened, but I can't seem to find all the blue tack that I just purchased last time I did this. I had like two or three rows of it free. Anyway, who knows? It'll turn up somewhere. At least I can reuse this stuff. It's pretty new. So let's go ahead and start this off. Goodbye reflection. Don't pull off the paint. I painted this room not long ago. The paint has a tendency of wanting to come off. <laughs> so I only did, well, I did two coats, but a very, very quick two coats. I'm gonna go James Brown. James Brown, getting down. He was the master, man. He's such a great, great vocalist back in the day. He used to find his band members every time they made a mistake. That's why they were so good. <laughs> Force them to, you know, practice and get it right, and get it and be consistent. Hopefully that looks about right. That should look a whole lot less reflective. Let me check. Yep, awesome. So if you're wondering what that little circle thing is on the wall, it's one of those groove tube, you know, advertisements that come with Fender amps. I don't know why I stuck that on the wall. I think I just need to fill that little space. It looks kind of stupid, but I'll leave it where it is. All right, up next on the chopping block is that one on the top left. I can't stand that picture. I think part of the problem with this one is that it doesn't really fill the sheet properly as well, so it just doesn't quite look right. So, yeah, I don't know. See all this white here? It doesn't really matter, but it's just a pretty bland picture. I thought it was good at the time. <laughs> Should I chuck the buddy guy up there? It's a really great poster, this one. Yeah, let's do it. Put it up there. It's got Sonny Landreth on there as well, which is it's a great play. You don't know who he is. Definitely look him up. Mark Knopfler says he's the greatest slide player ever, or at least alive, something like that. Uh, Derek Trucks is pretty freaking great. And I'm not saying that's Sonny Landreth is my opinion on the best player ever, but when Mark Knopfler gives someone a compliment, <laughs> people tend to listen. So uh, yeah, Knopfler's one of my favorite players of all time. 
And it's just a real shame. I couldn't really find any really nice posters of Nofla. I do have one on the wall, the Dice Straits one down the bottom here, but it looks like crap. That one's gonna go as well. Now, while I don't think that Clapton one is a bad poster, it's not a great poster. So I have a feeling I may move that to somewhere else, maybe on a different wall. Sometimes I get a shot across this wall and I wouldn't mind some stuff on that side as well. I'll definitely keep that, but I might put it somewhere else. That's a lot easier. Should have just left a blue tack on the wall. I'll put up this photo of uh, Rick and I and the guys. I like this poster. Nice and simple. Made it myself in Photoshop. Probably make it in paint, it's that simple. You know, Rick's one of my favorite guitar players, so he's as good as most of these guys, if not probably better in his own way. Having a photographic memory is definitely the key to success if you're a muso. <laughs> he's actually played with a lot of great players over the years too. But I reckon I forced him to play more original music than he's ever played in his life. <laughs> Willie Dixon and BB King. Perfect. There's a few BB King posters on the wall, but some of these old blues posters, man, they're, they're kind of where it's at when it comes to design. I just think, you know, that nostalgic kind of vibe that they have just looks amazing. So, yeah, I'm not going to miss that. It looks, I don't know. I'm not a huge Keith Richards fan anyway. I just kind of liked the artwork when I first saw it. And then about five minutes later, I thought, no. Nah. And that's nothing personal against him. You know, great musician, all that kind of stuff. I just don't really get it. And BB King. Let's get rid of this Dire Straits one. I want to find a Mark Knopfler solo poster. If anyone knows where to find one of them, let me know. And uh, yeah, I will print that up 100%. I never got a chance to see BB King live. I had a chance to, but unfortunately later, you know, as you get really, really old, and he was really quite old when he died, he kind of lost, you know, as you do, as you would, as everyone would, your sort of edge. You know, I bought a DVD of his and I was a little bit disappointed in it overall. Just lacked a lot of vibe. I mean, he had a great band, but I don't know, I just decided not to. I thought I'd rather just keep the memory of how great he was in my head as opposed to seeing him in his later life. So anyway, it's one of those decisions. I, I don't really regret that. I think we're good to go. Now I did get one other thing printed up as well, which is this. I was gonna cut this out and put it up on the wall. I think I'm still gonna do that. It might not always be in shot. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do this yet, but I'm gonna cut this out and see how it looks. Scissors. Now, one thing that I'm not is an expert with scissors. You don't really require much expertise, but I'm, I think I'm too impatient for them to do a good job. All right, that wasn't too bad. I just need to fix the edges. They're not quite round. Maybe I should have got a smaller one. Hmm. I know where it can go. It might look a bit weird, this orientation, but let's do this. Let's see if that kind of works. Yeah, done. That'll do. Don't necessarily like it that way around, but it fills a gap where that stupid little round thing was. And it's the same height, I guess, as well. So yeah, that'll do. I'll just put proper blue tack on and I think I'm good to go. So I think that's pretty much it. I have some space over there that I wanna fill up with some posters as well on the other wall. I might do that now as well. Let's give that a go. All right, that is it. I am done. Subscribe.